Hi there. Now for this question, we're given a sequence of numbers is defined by the first term, u1 equals 8, and then we've got the n plus 1 term, un plus 1, is equal to 4 times the nth term, un minus 9n, where n is greater than or equal to 1. And we've got to prove by induction that for n being any positive integer, that the nth term, un, is equal to 4 to the power n, plus 3n plus 1 for 5 marks. So just give you a moment to pause the video if you'd like to have a go at this. When you come back I'll take you through the work solution. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. So doing induction what I tend to do is start off first of all then proving that it's true when n equals 1. And so when n equals 1 We've got that the first term u1 must be equal to, and we're using this result here, it's going to be equal to 4 to the power 1 plus 3 times 1 plus 1, okay, using that. And this clearly comes to 4 plus 3 plus 1, 8, okay. So therefore, we can say it is true for n equaling 1. Now we go on to assume that it's true for n equaling some positive integer, which I'm going to call k. And that would mean that therefore, just using this result here, that u k, the kth term, then is equal to 4 to the power k plus 3k plus 1. And now what I'm going to do is prove to you that on the basis that it's true for n equals k, I can prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So we'll just say therefore when n equals k plus 1. Now if I turn to this given result here, we know that if n equals k, we're going to have uk plus 1. So we've got uk plus 1 equals 4uk minus 9k. So 4uk minus 9k. And if we just come down here, carrying on, we've therefore got the k plus 1 term, uk plus 1, is equal to... 4 times the kth term, uk. Now we've assumed that it's this result, so I'm going to put that in. 4 times then 4 to the power k plus 3k plus 1. And then it's minus 9k, so minus 9k there. Now if we expand the bracket here, 4 times 4 to the power k, Add the powers here, that's 4 to the power 1 times 4 to the power k, so you end up with 4 to the power k plus 1. And then we've got 4 times 3k, which is 12k, and then 4 times 1, which is 4, and then we've got the minus 9k. And if we clean this up, we've got the first term there, 4 to the power k plus 1. We've got 12k minus 9k, so that's 3k and then the plus 4. Now we want to get a result where the n here is replaced with k plus 1. That would mean that we want 4k plus 1, well that's looking good, okay, and we want 3 bracket k plus 1 plus 1. So when I look at this I can see we've got the 4 to the power k plus 1, but then in place of the 3k, I'm going to write 3 bracket k plus 1. So when I expand this, I can see I get 3k plus 3. I need an extra 1 to bring that up to 4. And this now has got this particular pattern structure when n is replaced with k plus 1. So therefore, we can start to summarise that if it's true for n equals some positive integer, which we called k, then we've proved that it's true, okay, for 
n equals k plus 1. And on that basis that we have proved that it's true, I put here since true for n equals 1, we did it up here, then therefore it must be true for n equals 2. One more than one, okay? N equals two. And if it's true for n equals two, it must be true for the next integer up, three, and then four, and so on. So in other words, it must be true for n being any positive integer. So that's that. All right?